What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to tutorial 75 and today I'll be going to talk about how to export your data from graph database and like the final destination of the data will be like uh, pandas data frame for example you have a graph database and definitely the database is actually the new 4g graph database how to read the data from the graph database and after that you want to export the data into a pandas data frame so how to do that so it's it, it it's actually very ex, uh, like kind of very a nice thing to know and this is going to be very handy whenever you are going to do some sort of uh, analytics or dashboard or you want to develop your own um, like uh, application that uh, where actually it should take the data from one uh, database and after that it should generate some sort of like uh, dashboards or whatever like um, anything like the normal uh, dashboarding thing whatever you do uh, from your matplotlib or um, base uh, standard python libraries so for that you need to get the data from your uh, new 4g graph database after that you have to export the data into pandas data frame so once the data is available inside your pandas data frame you can do whatever you want to do so first thing is that how to export the data into pandas data frame so now you guys understand that why actually we are um, uh, like uh, doing this classes uh, kind of after long duration so i have uploading this video after one month so that uh, you guys should get uh, some time to complete all the remain all the earlier 74 videos so that from this tutorial onwards we'll be going to talk about some more intermediate and advanced topics like uh, um, advanced analytics or data driven use cases based on new 4 and python okay so here actually we'll understand you'll be able to understand the actual potential of and the power of neo 4 j and python together okay so today's topic will be how to export neo 4 j graph data into pandas data frame so i already explained so here we'll be going to see uh, the codes and other thing and probably here i just going to output the thing so nothing much to uh, explain um, only thing is that the pure coding will happen now okay so let me uh, just minimize this thing i don't know where is my yes so this is my browser let me minimize this thing yes so right now i'm using this neo 4 j sandbox so you guys can uh, go to this url uh, let me put this url over here so just go to this url create a sandbox once you get the sandbox you have to select which environment so i'm selecting now this environment network it and management and after that if you open this thing with browser you will get something like this and after that i'm just going to show you what are the different things are there uh, so it has uh, data center egress router interface rack uh, so many other things are there okay um, but um, let me show you uh, I don't want to limit this thing let's run everything okay so what will happen now uh, will it will, this will display something so from that I'll be just going to uh, uh, export the data for only one specific uh, node actually not every node or else it will be kind of uh, very messy and it will be difficult to understand just because we are doing this for the first time so from the next tutorial onwards we'll be going to do some sort of uh, complex operation but just for sake of understanding we'll be going to tackle the very simple use case like how to export a single node uh, information information means property from neo 4j to pandas data frame okay so just because it is running on some uh, Neo4j cluster, I'm um, sorry, in AWS, I believe it's the sandbox is hosted and this kind of, I believe this is kind of a Docker container, uh, sorry, Docker image. So that is why it is taking time. So we are actually going to um, do something on machine. Okay, we'll be do something on machine. Okay, so just remember this thing, uh, machine so our node will be on machine okay so let's write down the code now so hashtag tuto tutorial 75 and maybe you can just copy this thing from here it will be easier to save some time okay like this then probably this is fine that's it now okay now we're going to import from neo4j import graph database okay then import pandas as pd that's it okay 
now we'll be going to create a driver object so driver will be going to be graph database dot driver we'll be going to put uri equals to something okay and there should be auth and this is also going to be something okay so user id this new 4j password i don't know actually i know i forgot so we'll check it from here so see our bold protocol url is this one so from the sandbox url you will get all this thing so bold protocol address is here so first let me update the uri and after that i'll be going to get the password from here as well so password is here if you say username is this and password is this so i'll be going to write this here so that's it okay so now what will happen let me run this thing okay it's completed executed no problem so then we'll create one session so object it will be driver dot session okay like this fine then we'll write the query now q1 like this this is going to be very simple match then it should be machine okay return n dot so let's see what are the properties of machine this is a machine machine has only one property called name okay so name as name okay that's it and then we'll be going to write results equals to session dot run so all of you are familiar with this thing right q1 okay and after that we're going to put this thing data into uh, results dot data so when i'm just doing this thing i'll explain you this thing now okay let me just run this thing okay if you are just going to write this thing you'll get something like that so if you are just going to do like this so data and after that if you see i got this thing here okay so it's a it's a list and every list is going to contain this thing this name actually in the form of dictionary okay so after that i need to just load this thing into pandas data frame so df is going to be uh, pd dot data frame and inside that i will put this data okay and after that i'm just going to write this thing df so i got this thing okay so this is very easy first we import everything after that we created the connection or establish the connection after that we have created one session object and then just write the query over here this is simple query which is going to return only name after that we run the query we got the result we just got the data from this thing so what is going to return by data uh, data means one list and every element inside a list will be one dictionary the key will be key value will be name and the value of this thing will be this and after that we are just exporting this thing using pandas data frame method and after that we are just going to uh, display or print this thing okay so this is very simple tutorial so let me just uh, minimize the minimize it what what let me just copy this thing okay and after that where is my this thing microsoft powerpoint yes this one is fine let me We export this thing. Okay, done. Let me minimize this thing a bit. I think this is fine. Yes, this is fine. This looks good. Okay, fine. Okay, that's it, guys. So now you understood how to. export your data from neo4j graph database into pandas data frame so when data is available inside a pandas data frame you can do whatever you want to do you can even export this data into csv file after that you can create excel you can create uh, some charts plots whatever thing depending on your requirement you can do so ultimate ultimate thing is that how to get the data into pandas data frame so once data frame is ready you can do anything right 
so in the next tutorial we'll see some more uh, like um, use cases but uh, initially this will be very simple things and after that we'll gradually increase the complexity and we'll tackle some uh, like uh, industry specific problems okay so that is well uh, that is why actually i highly recommend you guys uh, to go ahead and check the full playlist this is a hell lot of tutorials are there you can see it's 75 tutorial number 75 so more tutorials will be coming and all these things are basic and intermediate level we haven't touched the advanced topic yet so right now i believe this is the right time to start uh, with the advanced topics of data science data analytics some um, some risk analysis and some uh, use cases which actually being used uh, in um, in many industries basic, specifically based on new forges so we'll go into tackle all those things so if you do not understand the basic things then probably it will be difficult for you to grab those concepts okay so that is why just go ahead and watch the tutorial and after that try to practice and in between if you get some error or difficulties or not able to understand or need some clarification please feel free to ask me i'll try to answer all your queries okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day